What is up you guys? Miami Hurricanes time back with another video and wait wait before you leave before you go This one doesn't have to do with only Miami. It's national signing day and it has to do all sorts of programs If you're a Georgia fan, Gator fan, Bama fan, Ohio State, it doesn't matter If you're a college football fan, you want to stay tuned We're talking about the top five prospects that are uncommitted up to this coming national signing day That's next week Coming up in February, real soon, and who has the best chance? We're going to be analyzing these guys of why you do want them or don't want them on your team and showing off some highlights of these guys and the athleticism that they possess. Coming in at number five is Kajir Elam. All right, he's a four-star cornerback. He's currently being pursued by Florida Gators, Georgia Bulldogs, and the Miami Hurricanes. Now, why you want to see this guy on your roster is is because he has something that's called a 34.5 inch vertical jump. Yeah, this guy can jump up in the air almost a whole stinking yard. A whole three feet almost. That is <laughs> amazing. That is insane. Not to mention that he runs a 40 yard dash in something like four and a half seconds. This guy is just a freak of an athlete. You definitely want him on your team. He's been pursued by Florida, Georgia, and Miami. All three of those guys. Recently, uh, Georgia's really been putting some pressure, like, you know, visiting him and such. But my prediction for him is the Gators. I think the Florida Gators will get him. He's enjoyed his visits to them. He's really seemed like leaning a lot more to that side. So it looks like he's going to be a Gator, unfortunately. The next guy that we're going to look at at four, number four, is a four star defensive tackle. His name is Ishmael Softshire. All right. So the reason you're going to want this guy, his body is six foot three, 334 pounds. Yeah, he's a big dude. You do not want to be on the offensive line saying, yeah, I got that guy right there. Oh, by the way, he can run a 40 yard dash in five and a half seconds. For a 334 pound guy, that's freakishly fast. That's scary. Now, the competition is between Alabama and LSU as of this moment. I personally believe he's going to flip to Alabama. The reason I say that is this guy is a competitor. He's a freak of an athlete. That's the way that Alabama recruits. It seems that he's leaning that way, and he's probably going to go to Alabama. The next guy coming in at number three is Jerrion Ely. Jerrion Ely is a five-star running back. He is not officially signed with anyone yet. The thing about this guy is he ran 120 yards per game in high school. He averaged 15 yards per touch. Every single time this guy had the football in his hands, he had 15 yards. Yeah, a guaranteed first down and a half. Now, I know, I know, it's high school ball, but that's why this guy was rated a five-star. He is someone you want on your team. The guys that are in competition for him are Mississippi State, you got Alabama, and Clemson. Personally, my prediction for him is going to be Clemson. The reason I think he goes to Clemson is they need a running back. Their roster isn't as stacked at running back position as the com competitors for Ely, you know, Mississippi State and Alabama. I believe if Ely goes over there, he's going to get a starter role easier. Um, but the other thing is Clemson's been a break great program. You know, we've been talking about Alabama, the great ones, the great ones, and then Clemson knocked them off their hill. Knocked them off, knocked them down, and... They've been winning and so why not go to Clemson? There's decent and amazing competition there These guys just won a national championship. So that's my prediction for him coming in at number two. Wait, wait, wait Hold on. I need to ask you guys something. I know it's annoying if you're enjoying this video Please hit that like button down below helps me up so much if you have not joined our family. We're a fun college football New community we do all sorts of innovative things. It's not just Miami. It's Miami focused But we do all college football world you hit like button, please It helps me up so much and if you haven't joined our college football community We're a fun and innovative new community. We do all sorts of things It has a Miami focus, but we're gonna cover topics on all the college football world Please hit that subscribe button and share this channel with people you think that you enjoy Watching this so coming in at number two is George Pickens George Pickens is a five-star wide receiver. He's a verbal commit to Auburn, but not official. And just about any big program has been pushing for him. It seems that he's not even leaning to Auburn. He's got Georgia. He's got Auburn, obviously, a verbal commit. He's got Miami. He's got Alabama. He's got the Gators. Everybody wants this guy. He's a five-star wide receiver. The reasons they want this guy is because he's freakishly fast, and he's an athlete. He can do punt returns. He can do kick returns. He can catch the ball. He can flat out beat anybody on the field. Something interesting is this guy saw Odell Beckham's uh, training drill of throwing a tennis ball and 
as far as he can, and then running and catching it. He's saying after that went not so popular in social media, he continued doing that and has helped them incredibly. He said he's that's he credits a lot of his ability as an athlete to that drill that he's copied from Odell Beckham. So yeah, you're gonna want him. My prediction for George Pickens is Miami. I think he's going to you. I know, I know the channel name. I know it's probably a little biased. I really think that we have a great fit for him at the program. Dan Enos has come over. Miami's made a hard push. He's visited us recently as an official visit at the end. I think he just might be flipped to the Kings. Now, coming in at number one, but before I get into that, guys, I want you to hear your thoughts. If my predictions are right or not right, and why you think below, drop it down in the discussions below. Be sure to subscribe. We're going to be doing the next top 10 players that are not committed coming up soon so number one is darnell wright okay darnell wright is not the fancy quarterback name that you hear about the running back or wide receiver but he's offensive tackle he's a five star he's up in the top of the 247 sports they rank him in the top 10 he's still not official anywhere yet he's six foot six and 320 pounds this guy is a monster his I mean, that height and you're on an offensive tackle, you better have a pretty tall quarterback behind you. Six foot six, guys. The guys that are pursuing him are West Virginia, that's his hometown, Tennessee, and Alabama. My prediction for him is going to be Tennessee. I think Tennessee is going to get this guy down. The reason being is he gets in there. He's definitely going to be a starter position. They have pretty decent lineman coach, and he's been showing more and more interest in Tennessee. Let me know what you guys think, if I'm wrong or not wrong. Here are the top five players and where they're going. We'll see come National Signing Day. Be sure to follow this channel. We'll be doing much more announcements about National Signing Day and a lot more fun stuff and great ideas that I'm coming up and bringing to you. Before I end this video, however, I want to do a great shout out to Scott Hander. He gave a $27 donation. Thank you so much. Donations are not an obligation. They all go to this channel. Proceeds 100%. None of them go to cover my you know food bill or rent or something like no 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 we're doing it 100 percent to improve the quality on this channel we're building up a lot of cool stuff in the background you know the canes corner so all you have to do to donate hit that button down below canes corner you can use any method of payment it helps me up so much you don't have to do it but it really helped and patreon i just started a patreon link that one goes 100 percent to the channel quality not so much the canes corner in the background and such if you could check those links below thank you so much these are exciting recruits, exciting times for the Canes, for college football. Many teams are pushing their last week right before National Signing Day. At the end of the day, we know it's all about the U.